Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So um, before I get into uh, showing you how to set up RPM filter on your B BL Heli S ESCs, um, I just want to go over the reason why I've started to play around with BL Heli S again. Um, I, in my 5 inch I just run BL Heli 32 and have done for a while just because the best quality ESCs always use the latest uh, tech and they all tend to be BL Heli 32. Um, one of the other main reasons for using that is because maybe six months ago they started adding the RPM filter which you may have heard of. Um, now that just really is a, a great feature of Betaflight and um, it just cleans up all the all the noise that gets put into the gyro really good at cleaning that up all the all the noise from the motors um, so it means that you can turn off other filters and uh, reduce the uh, phase delay in the system which makes your quad feel a lot more connected and it can react to prop wash and uh, other situ and you know wind and other situations like that it can it just performs uh, makes the whole system perform a lot better um, but recently uh, it's, uh, Joe Lucid, I think, is the guy who's uh, basically done most of the work on the RPM filter. He released a version of BL Heli S called JESC that you could uh, buy a license for and then install that onto your BL Heli S quads. Um, that's been out for a little while now, and quite a lot of people have supported him, and, and you should definitely support him. He's done a lot of work on it, um, but. Just about two weeks ago, I saw that somebody had added um, a new repo, um, a fork on GitHub of uh, the BL Heli S code, but he had implemented the RPM filter into that. So now you can get RPM filter on your BL Heli S quads for free. Um, so, uh, link in the description to show you where to go to download that. The biggest advantage of running it on BL Heli S is got to be that you can put it on to little micro quads now which generally have a lot more noise uh, that needs cleaning up than a big 5 inch quad um, so some of you may have heard that uh, me and NJ Tech also known as Neil um, have started working together collaborating on a toothpick class frame that we are calling the guitar pick um, I'll go into the reason. They'll go into the reasons why uh, in another video, or leave it to him to tell you about that in his video. Um, but basically, I've been working on this little frame, which is the guitar pick. Um, I've built, I've built two of them now. This one, as you can see, is running a Crazy B FC with the plugs there. Um, now, the Crazy Bee was one of the first ones that kind of helped start the craze and um, Crazy Bee starting the craze of the toothpick class um, but since that other companies have come out with much cleaner designs that are much more suited for what we want to use them for. So inside this one I have the Nameless RC uh, all-in-one, the F412T so I've put the RPM filtering onto the Crazy B board and that one works fine, but um, I've just built up this one using the Nameless uh, RC board. So I'm gonna show you how to put RPM filtering onto that today. Um, so obviously use the link in the description to go to GitHub and download the hex files. Uh, there's a folder uh, called hex files. You wanna download that, it will have all the letter and number combinations that you can get. Uh, just download the whole thing and put it on to, put it into a folder. You can put them in a safe place on your computer, ready for when we connect to the BOHeli configurator. So, first thing to do, obviously, is plug USB into your quad. Connect to that. Then plug your battery in and click read setup you can see then that you'll have your four ESCs being read uh, 
16.7 is the latest uh, non-RPM filtered version. Uh, this is the main bit that you want, the pH 15. So go to flash all and select file manually. You can see here I've got the hex files all in my folder here. Um, so go down to pH 15 and you want the 16 underscore 71, so 16.71 hex. Double click that and it goes straight into flashing them. Make sure you take your props off before you start flashing. So now that's all uh, flashed and finished, we can disconnect. And you can hear there those slightly different startup tones. So now that the ESCs are flashed with the new firmware, um, we want to go into Betaflight and set it up in there. Now, depending on what um, quad you're going to be putting this on, um, this process will go slightly different, but I'll explain where. Um, so first thing to do is in the configuration tab is turn on bi-directional D-Shot and normally 14 motor poles is correct for your standard 5 inch motors um, but for these little tiny motors they've only got 12 magnets on so you want to change that to 12. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is that it is going to use quite a little bit more CPU power so you can see how I've set everything quite low so 4K, 4K and D-Shot 300 is more than enough for it to, to work well and feel good. So save and reboot on that. <clears throat> now when I connect a battery and go into the motors tab, you can see here we've got this RPM and error and you can turn this on, spool up the motors and what you want is 0% on your errors so that means that the ESC is working properly and you should have this RPM reading going there. That means that your RPM uh, filters will be working. Um, now with these little micro quads as I said earlier you, you tend to get a lot more vibration or at least you used to. These days the motors the motors are much better than they used to be and they're much smoother. So normally with a five inch, because you're adding that, that RPM filter that's gonna take care of a lot of the filtering on its own, you can turn off other filters to reduce the phase delay even more. Um, with these little micros, I usually just leave the, I leave it, leave the dynamic filter um, all as default. I leave the, I also leave the RPM filter as default. But if you go into your filter settings here, you can see now that the gyro RPM filter is activated um, and it's got three harmonics. You can go ahead and turn that down to one. Um, not very many quads are going to develop harmonics, uh, or at least from what I've from what I've tested myself, you only really need that on one harmonics. Um, you could turn the dynamic, dynamic notch range down to low and you could turn the width down to zero. Um, but as I said, I would just leave those as standard, go out and fly it and see how it feels. And then if you want to turn down the filtering, um, you can just use the sliders and just go for less filtering and it will turn down the filters on all of the other filters. Basically, the best thing to do is to filter the gyro at source, and this new RPM filter runs uh, runs first, cleans up most of the noise, then the dynamic notch filter comes in and clears up any other noise that's left, and then you've just got a few little other ones, uh, static filters, that just completely knock out all the rest of the noise. Now, by moving those sliders, you can just turn those right down. The filters and the filtering it is you can get really deep into it and it can be quite complicated 
um, and depending on what sort of pilot you are and what you're trying to get out of your quad um, will depend on on what you actually <laughs> what 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 you do with the filters uh, a lot of people just want their motors to not catch on fire and their quad not to feel like really laggy you want enough filtering to deal with damaged props as well in my case because uh, I'm a bit lazy when it comes to changing the props out so I don't usually filter on the right on the edge um, but yeah depending on what you're using uh, your quad for will depend on how much filtering you want to take off um, but yeah there'll be there's probably people who know a lot more about it than me uh, that you can watch videos on the, the thing about these little ones is that there's no black box so I can't really uh, t I can't check the gyro noise um, to see if it's being filtered out so you, you want to make sure that you've got enough filtering uh, these little things especially on 3s and these are 6,000 kV motors I was flying it around my house earlier and 10% throttle so <laughs> yeah when you're running that sort of power through it you really want to make sure you've got enough filtering so that that doesn't cause you any problems so hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys and as I said you should uh, support Joe Lucid maybe chuck him a few bucks on his uh, JESC website um, if you download and use the free version I mean even if you just pay him for one license and then just use the free version from now on I think that's fair enough uh, he deserves to earn a bit of money out of it because he's done it all on the side of actually working on uh, Betaflight code itself as well. So, alright guys, take care, see ya.